माय डियर एस्ट्रो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज युअर कृष्णमूर्ति जे फ्रॉम जे के वेदांश अस्ट्रो टुडेज टॉपिक इज बृहनंदी नाडी अस्ट्रॉलॉजी हैप्पी मैरेज एंड अनहैप्पी मैरेजेस दैट वील सी बिफोर गोइंग टू द सब्जेक्ट आई रिक्वेस्ट एवरी वन ऑफ यू माई डियर फ्रेंड्स प्लीज सब्सक्राइब प्लीज शेयर If you like, because knowledge is to share. In every video, I am repeating this. Please bear with me for the newcomers, because what uh, this uh, YouTube analytical things are saying, lot of people are viewing but not subscribing, not sharing. Please do so. And if you like, please uh, press the like button. Now we will go to the subject. See, I have taken unhappy marriage and unhappy marriages, and what are the combination in this? See, combinations according to Brigandi Nadi. We are talking about according to Brigandi Nadi. So, next we are going here to the chart. Female. This chart, this female forced her husband to divorce and got her husband in prison. with the false case it is a female chart so mars is husband and venus is self that everybody knows here i find a very peculiar combination mars and venus wherever that un, uh, what is that uh, unhappy marriage kind of life they are not connected that is a fourth and connection is that then how they are married the saturn See here, Mars connection is also important. See if the Saturn connects, even though they are not uh, going to be a happy married couple or something like that, but Saturn, the karma connects the two souls, this male soul and female soul. The Saturn connects some Purva Janma karma is that. That is why they are connected. After that. karma is over they'll get separated and other thing till then they won't be uh, what i can say is uh, uh, mentally uh, compatible to each other that's what it says see here <coughs> saturn karma you see connects mars and venus that's why through and also here apart from the above venus is in scorpio and gets mars amsha this in the this Uh, the samsha thing i put a separate video if anybody has not watched that video please watch then you will understand so because venus is in mars house it gets mars samsha not only that it connects with the mars not only that it connects with the aries also that's what i explained very uh, clearly in my earlier uh, video please see that and then native married and after 14 years of marriage she forced her husband to divorce got him behind bars with false allegation separated after 14 years see here we will see we will see combination very minutely then we will understand see mars is here see here 1 degree 29 minutes that i always insist on degrees that is very very important so it will show who is behind who is not who is behind who is going forward if the behind uh, planets are there then influence on this moving ahead planet will be very less that's what see here mars is 1 degree 29 minutes rahu is 11 degree 57 minutes so rahu is moving towards mars rahu is karaka for imprisonment and we all we all know mars and rahu are deadliest enemies because mars is the commander in chief of devas rahu is a commander in chief of asuras both are enemies we know very well then mars moves to jupiter so judge and court then mars 1 degree 29 minutes moved to saturn both are in very close degree saturn you see 
zero zero degree thirty one minutes. So Saturn is a their uh, Saturn is a judgment and punishment, but Mars and Saturn are enemies. Then Mars one degree twenty nine minutes move to Sun, but here Sun is in twenty two degree forty nine minutes and debilitated also. So it is far away, even though it is a friend, it could not help because Sun is debilitated. Got Venus samsha, and in between, that Sun is posited in between two enemies. Venus is also enemy, and Saturn is also enemy, both deadliest enemies. And apart from that, Sun is weak here. Sun is debilitated. So and also Sun got enemy amsha, that is Venus samsha. So Sun is more influenced by Venus than. Mars. So here, Sun is helpless. Even though Sun is friendly to Mars, it is help. help. So it acted as a government and gave the punishment. Now we will see the next chart. It is a male chart, diversed. So here, because female chart we have seen, male chart how it acts we have to see, no? So it's a male chart. So Venus is wife. Here, Jupiter and Venus are not connected directly. See here, Jupiter is a male chart, so Venus wife. Jupiter is the male, that is self. Here, Jupiter is also retro. You just see that Jupiter is retro, Saturn is retro, Mercury is retro. Lot of Mer retro planets are there. Lot of uh, uh, if and buts will be there always in their life. So what happened here? Also, Jupiter and Venus are not connected directly. Venus and Jupiter are not connected directly. Retro Jupiter is in Libra, got Venus samsha. So, even though Venus Jupiter is not connected directly, it is get it getting connected to Venus because of its amsha. Apart from that, Venus and Jupiter are getting the parivartana also, and Jupiter connects with Venus on account of Venus samsha. And from its retro position, it comes to Virgo. From there, it connects also Venus. And again, Venus also connects to Jupiter on account of Jupiter Amsha. So both are through Amshas they are connecting. Jupiter is connecting with not only with Venus; it is connecting into um, uh, that Venus houses also because it is posited. There. Venus also same way. So. When parivartan happens, it loses that amsha connection. That is a very very important. Apart from that, it loses the that uh, amsha connection and retro Saturn aspects Venus. If it goes to Leo, it also disconnects. So both are not well connected to Venus. Venus also moves towards dead enemy Sun and Moon from. And moon from Pisces and after Parivartan to Ketu, so th that is why this uh, Venus suffered lot because of the Parivartan, because of the retro planets. Now we will take a, a celebrity chart. We know very well Princess of Wales, Diana. She, if you want to know more about her uh, life, you have to watch. In Netflix, Diana and then Crown. Both the movies, if you watch, how Diana suffered in a ma marriage where she willingly married Charles, and how uh, Prince Charles uh, actually neglected her. How this young girl suffered a humiliation, even with the Queen. The crown very nicely, uh, I mean, narrating the the what I can say is uh, the torture she has undergone. She had undergone, and uh, the Diana also very nicely they depicted her life. So here, let us come to the chart. It is a female chart. Venus is herself. Mars is husband. Here, Venus and Mars are not connected. You see. Venus and Mars 
are not connected. See Venus and Mars again, it is a 410 position only. See retro Saturn karma connects first to Venus. Okay. Then from retro position, they did me Mars. So Mars is, is affected here. And another thing is, uh, Venus is moving towards the uh, Sun, that is also dead enemy. For uh, Venus, first it moves to Sun, so it is a dead enemy. Say again, Mars actually conjoined with uh, another dead enemy, Rahu, deadliest enemy, I can say. So double damage to Mars and Moon connection to Venus brought lot of scandals and bad name to for her. See moon from, from, <coughs> from Capricorn it connects to Venus. So it gave lot of uh, they said uh, because of to take vengeance on Prince Charles uh, that crown very nicely uh, Diana that movie very nicely uh, uh, explains how to take uh, revenge on Prince Charles she went to the extramarital affairs and other things. Even now also some uh, something is going on about the uh, that son's uh, original father, who is the original father and other things. So uh, let us not go into that. Moon's connection to Venus brought lot of scandals and bad name for her. As her husband neglected her, she suffered a lot, went into depression had a lot of offers to take revenge on husband. Retro Mercury plus Moon connection with Venus clearly indicate that. Here Retro and Debilitated Jupiter didn't help her much. Apart from that, Mars also actually, he, see he, he wanted to, the Prince Charles wanted to marry some other lady now with whom he, now he got married, that lady and he was in he was connected to that lady and neglected Diana. That is so un very very unhappy marriage. Now, Mrs. Here we are coming to India celebrity. Mrs. Karishma Kapoor horoscope. We all know. We have ever would have everybody would have read and uh, how she married a um, businessman and how she alleged uh, that um, on her first night itself uh, her husband actioned her to her friends. And all those things we are seeing in the newspaper, we do not know what is correct, what is not correct and other thing. Anyhow, what we understood from the newspaper, we are thinking. But anyhow, Mrs. Karishma Kapoor finally got divorced. So she was not happy and she expressed herself openly uh, to all the media that she was not happy. That That is the thing we wanted, we want now. Again you see, Mars and Venus again for position only. Mars is in his own house and very strong but Venus is in enemy's house so not strong. So here also see female chart so Venus is herself, Mars is the husband. So here also Venus and Mars are not connected. Here Mars is strong I already I told you Venus is in enemy's house. Mars also connected to Ketu and Mercury. We heard lot of allegations about his, his friend's involvement in their honeymoon. Rahu connects to Venus also. This gives a slight support to the allegations. Saturn, Karma, what then how they are married? Again here also you see Saturn connects to Venus and Saturn connects to Mars. So that is how the, the Karma connected both. When the karma is over, they got separated. But Saturn is Venus. But Saturn is with whom? Venus enemy Sun. So Sun also connects to Venus. So here double damage to the Venus. And Moon aspect on Mars gives a bad name to her husband through a scandal. Jupiter aspect on Venus helped her to come out of the marriage with the custody of the kids without much damage to herself as happened in the case of Princess Diana. Princess Diana we know very well how she lost her balance and she went with everyone and at last 
when she was traveling with some one one of her boyfriends uh, that she met with the accident and lost her life also so here it has not happened because the jupiter is strong here jupiter in his own house and uh, it is uh, giving even though jupiter and venus are enemies but jupiter as a, a jiva karaka as a saved her jiva now next kamal hasan actor we know very well first major marriage broke second marriage with indian actors broke and then third he lived uh, living living relationship that also over it's a man's horoscope so jupiter itself jupiter is exalted so very strong so strong kamal hasan mr kamal hasan is very strong that everybody knows about it it connects with the retro venus so his first wife left him retro means again moving here and there so it is a uh, jupiter and venus finite position that venus comes to uh, or i mean libra then automatically jupiter venus connection goes four ten connection comes that's why the divorce happened again next venus next wife is mercury so again retro mercury from virgo it connects to jupiter again when it moves to libra again she i mean he loses her that means second wife left him here mercury comes to virgo it becomes strong because it is exalted thing that's why she lived with him long longer period and then uh, she even she gave two children to him whereas the venus didn't have uh, with that venus jupiter combination that venus didn't have any children again moon is connected to jupiter so he he not married actually i, I said married he lived to they lived together that lady with her children stayed with him but mr kamalasan gave the reason saying that she was she is she had some medical issues so as a friend i am supporting her and they lived together with her children with his children and ketu is behind him to cut all his connections apart from retro effect of venus and mercury here the ketu see even the moon even the third wife moon is the third wife third wife would have because the good very good connection is the moon and jupiter but in between the ketu is coming it cuts the bond so but note saturn karma is with its enemy sun is connecting retro venus and retro ven uh, sorry double time i said venus venus retro venus and retro mercury please read it as a mercury now we all seen unhappy 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 marriages we get bored and very negative uh, vibration now we will go to happy married life someone 73 years of marriage her husband prince philip died at the age of 99 if we had lived for two more months he would have lived up to 100 years 73 years of marriage even people will die seven at the age of 72 70 65 or something like that here our marriage itself 73 years but if you watch the crown again i told you in the netflix you will see lot of hiccups were there lot of what i can say is uh, she has to make a lot of compromise but the marriage survived and also they were and uh, they were i mean in the initial stages lot of hiccups were there and uh, some uh, controversial things were there but queen elizabeth sailed through uh, queen elizabeth to sail through all those things and her husband also realized his folly and they were actually he became a very good advisor in the later stage he became a very good advisor and a stabilizing factor to queen elizabeth you see it's a female chart so venus itself 
Mars is suspended. Here Mars is very strong, exalted with Jupiter. That is why the husband, even though in the initial stage, along with his friends, please watch Crown Netflix. In there, they give a very nice description, nice thing. Uh, how they he has just uh, gone uh, with his friends and how that things went wrong. Then how he corrected himself. All those things is coming. Uh, the Jupiter actually took care of him. Even though it's a weak Jupiter, but here along with the Mars is there, so Jupiter also becomes strong. And uh, uh, what I can say is uh, the Jupiter took care of him. And here also you see Jupiter and uh, say Mars and Venus and Jupiter and Venus. They are both on 212 position, very strong. Mars connection with Mercury and Moon shows some transgression, transgression of her husband, some scandal, but it didn't rock her marriage. Because between Mercury and Mars, Venus is coming. And Mars has to cross Venus, then only it can reach Mercury. So, Mars connects the Venus first. That is the best thing here. And here also, retro Saturn, Karma, either connects Mars or Venus. Because of from its original position, connects Mars. If it is comes to uh, here uh, Libra, it connects Venus. So both ways, that karma didn't detach. And Rahu connection to Venus and exalted sun connection to Venus helped her to face problems boldly. Rahu connection, sometimes she very cunningly also, she managed that affairs. And sun connection because he had the authority, with authority also, she has managed the problems. That's how it happens. See how, uh, I mean, what is that, uh, um, Brahmanandi Nadi, it's just a combination of planets, how easily we can find it out, whether it's happy marriage, unhappy marriage, without going to a lot of, uh, what is that, 10 compatibility. In South India, they say 21 compatibility. compatibility. They, some people say 30 compatibility. All these things, without all these things, we can see very easily. With this, I request everyone, please subscribe, share and comment. Again, I, I will meet you in some other video. Thank you very much.